Hey there, this is Lunacy 8M from GadgetMadness.com. We're taking a closer look at the Folding at Home application. Um, posted a uh, video review earlier today of Folding at Home when it first came out. I've been playing with it a little bit and uh, a few things, a few little extra things you can do with the application. The left stick on the PS3 six axis controller will control movement of the globe. So if you wanted to rotate the globe, push it to the right, it will go to the right. You want to rotate to the left, push to the left, and so forth. If you'd like to zoom in, you can push up on the right stick, and we can zoom in. There are quite a few more little yellow dots showing than there were this morning, which is pretty cool. And you can zoom out by pulling back on the right stick. One of the uh, things I mentioned in my previous video is box mode. Wasn't quite sure what that was for. Well, if you hit the select button on the PlayStation controller, it will switch your view. You hit select twice, and you get this really nifty looking uh, view of the uh, DNA globule. And you can also rotate this with your, uh, your left analog stick, and you can zoom in and out with the right. The box mode, if you go into settings by hitting triangle, settings, see here now we can enable box mode. If we turn it off, then we just see the DNA by itself, no box. And it can rotate, makes a, an interesting uh, jiggly noise. Let's go ahead and turn box mode back on. And we'll zoom back out. This is uh, really, really interesting. The team page is now working on the Folding at Home site. Uh, the Gadget Madness team number is 55267. If you'd like to join, we can uh, gather the power of our PlayStation 3s and uh, work towards a cure for cancer. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. Can't wait to see uh, what add-ons or, or what uh, future enhancements of Folding at Home are going to have. If we hit select again, then the DNA jumps back down to the right box, and we can zoom and rotate on the globe. Very, very cool.